Whatever joy earth yields betide your majesty. Earth yields no joy without Poseidon's love. A lot of students come to university wanting to pursue a love of text, a love of language, a love of talking about ideas. We aim to offer students a very, very broad range within the subject. English includes language studies and linguistics, it's literature, it also includes practical drama. Shakespeare, of course, our greatest writer, wrote for the theatre. It also includes creative writing, which is a really popular new area where we've got great people teaching this and a huge sense of commitment from students in wanting to produce their own material. The teachers, the teachers can't control the class. They're standing there, the eyes are going this way and that way and their arms are flapping about. They can't control their arms, they can't control their eyes. Let her... Will you be quiet, please? I love to read. I um, always have done, going into different worlds, escaping my own. I've done drama before, so I always read text differently. It definitely helps you understand certain scenes a lot more, and it makes it a lot more memorable. Bishops of the Church of England have 26 seats as of right in the House of Lords. Who thinks that's right? It's an opinion that in a modern society you cannot really justify. You're going to be spending most of your time writing and part of that process is learning to argue, learning to voice what you think. Life and literature, to me, are indistinguishable. Great fiction embodies great truth, and we try to write fiction to find out something about ourselves. Five days on my own, abandoned by all three of them, one wife and two daughters. Two to New York, one to Berlin, eventually. I've written all my life, uh, but always hidden it away. and. Uh, wanted to actually give it a serious go this time. I was terrified about coming back to university after so long. It's, it's a very, very happy department, I'm, I'm glad to say. I want to know the motivation behind how you chose the newspapers, how you chose the letters, okay? We need to know who are the writers or the speakers, okay? What age are they? What social class are they? It's easy to inspire students when you're dealing with language. How integral it is to our everyday lives is a really important part of why I enjoy linguistics and I try and instill that kind of enthusiasm to the students that I teach. We have a, an amazing strength in the depth of expertise that we have both in teaching and in research. What we're seeing here is that the words that are the alternatives to destruction are not just any old random words, are they? They're words which, are, which allude to destruction. Mm. I came here in 2004 with a team which has been t working since 1980 on the study of language in use and the study of language change across time. And the way we deal with this is that we develop automated tools which can find these things and present them to different sorts of users. What makes revenge such a great subject for drama? Is it because the seeking of murdering somebody is significantly more exciting than the seeking of a conversation? I used to read like a book a day when I was young and then I ran out of time for that when I got older. I just really enjoy it. People like Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman and high fantasy novels and science fiction. I had gone to a lot of open days to pick universities all over the place and I came here, it was actually the last one that I came to and I hadn't intended to come. But I came here and instantly chose it as my first choice and that was it. I haven't looked back, I really love it here. I really, really like it.